Why is it exciting that RBS are doing an innovation gateway? Um, at one level, we're all engineers here. Um, it's a very much an energy focused issue. Obviously, RBS has a big environmental footprint, which they're trying to do their best to address. Um, but more exciting, perhaps, is that the venture industry has been focused very much on consumer to consumer type sales, so the apps and things that people can download. And in this environment, you've got more mature engineers who aren't going to t turn up to an incub incubator and spend six months living in someone's college dorm, um, have a family life and so on, but nonetheless have the experience to bring value to the marketplace. And I think RBS are tapping into something that isn't being served in Britain at the moment. Benefits of the innovation gateway, um, access to data for us is very important. We're a big data solution, pattern recognition, automated analysis. Um, we're talking over 2,000 large buildings, or significant buildings at least, at least, each which have an energy spend. And typically banks and um, Ministry of Defence and so on and so forth are very, very loath to free data. Um, RBS is taking a big, bold move, putting it out there, saying what, what value can you add. For us, um, there's the hope of a commercial contract along the line, funding, all sorts of things like that. Um, but to be able to say, yes, this applies across a huge board with absolute credibility behind us is fantastic if it happens. Internally, with, with the uh, innovation uh, process here, the Gateway, we very much hope to be selected, of course, um, to get access to data and to prove that we can deliver a service that they can't get anywhere else in the world. That's our, that's our goal. Um, beyond that, the networking could be very useful. Uh, we know some of the panel and team here anyway, um, but there are also um, colleagues in parallel industries. I was talking to a chap just now who are looking at um, detailed metering within buildings to interpret plug loads, in other words, things like kettles and televisions and toasters, whereas we're more focused on very big equipment, chillers, compressors, um, boilers and so on, pumps. Um, and actually they're quite compatible to us, so not a competitor, though in a nutshell we'd describe what we do quite similarly.